Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about quick tip and trick of click view and build functionality auto minimize. This auto minimize feature is present in almost every component of click view whether it is chart or it is uh, any list box or anything. And before I tell you how to configure this and achieve this uh, functionality, I will give you some uh, business background about it. So there is this one click view enthusiast who reached out to me uh, with a scenario that uh, he wanted to have one button and based on the first click of a button, the very first component, let's say here in this case, first table should disappear or, or should be hidden. Once he clicks the button again, then second table should disappear and third table should appear. So on the very first click, first table should appear and other tables which are present should be hidden. On the second click, the second table should appear and other tables are there uh, should be hidden. And on the third click, the third table should appear if there is any and uh, other two tables should be hidden. So I thought about this and then I rec uh, recollected that instead of doing this uh, cyclical nature of uh, clicking a button and hiding the multiple object and enabling one specific object. What you can do is uh, utilize the auto minimize feature of quick view. So let's go ahead and see how it works in action. Right click uh, on the any component like in this case I have a table. Go to properties. Within the caption you have auto minimize. If you click here and click OK nothing will going to happen. So after this, on another table, I will go and right click, go to properties, within the caption, I hit the auto minimize and click OK. Again, nothing will happen. But things will happen when you will actually minimize all of these table first and then double click on any of the table. So if I double click on the first table, the first table is appearing. So nothing magic, right? On first table, I have just clicked and it is appeared but things will start happening whenever I'm clicking on the other object which are auto minimized. Here in this case, if I'm clicking on second table, the second table is getting appeared and the first table gets auto minimized automatically. So this is the kind of functionality that if I double click on any of the component, that component is getting the screen or the main screen and the other objects which are available on the screen is getting auto minimized. In this way, if I have let's say five or ten different object, I can simply place it on the convenient location like here in this case, I have put it over here and uh, user can easily see it. Okay, these are all the components which is at my disposal and I can see all of these different metrics. So instead of appearing everything on the main screen, you space the screen size by doing this and all of these different options are available to you as a button and you can select anyone like here in this case second table. If I select that it is getting appeared and other table or other component is getting auto minimized. Other thing that I can do I can simply uh, drag this and give the component um, uh, drag the component somewhere at the middle of the screen so that user will get uh, good experience over there. Similar case in the second table, I will drag it down a little bit at the middle of the screen uh, for the good user experience. So now if I double click again like this, all of that functionality is achieved and you don't have to go in a cycle like one by one and uh, so let's say for example if user uh, wants to see the third table directly from first table you will not be having the logic or you will be developing some very complex logic. However in this case you have to auto minimize all of the objects is in front of you and you can view whatever you want. So that's a quick one I wanted to uh, tell about uh, in this video and I hope you will find this video useful and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic. Bye bye.